Max Copesake is Executive Director of European Coffee Sales at Marex. I asked him about the extreme weather's impact on crops. So the effect is kind of in two parts, to be honest. So we came into the start of this, uh, this, this year, or sort of end of last year, to be honest, and we had um, a, a very late start to the rains in Brazil. And what this does is it kind of slows down and stunts the cherry development. So we end up having a, a, a smaller off-cycle um, production this year. Coffee works in Brazil in, in a way that we have one big bumper harvest one year, then we have a smaller harvest next year because of um, because the way it's grown and, and because of the, the way it's maintained and, and harvested by the farmers. So this is a, an expected off-cycle. Uh, but what we actually saw, because of the drought coming into or, or during the development of these cherries, was a more severe off cycle this time. Um, and, and then when we came towards March, April, which is a key part of the branch development needed for the next, the next crop, i.e. the crop that's going to be produced next year, we saw another dry, uh, dry spell again, which further impacted forward production. And then on top of all of this, on July the 20th, uh, in very early morning in, in Brazil, we actually saw a frost which wiped out roughly four to five million bags of coffee production for the next year. So uh, as I'm sure you've seen, Robin, coffee prices, uh, or future prices, have rallied dramatically over the last two weeks. And even last night, or this morning, sorry, we had again another cold patch hit Brazil. And we are grappling to try and understand the repercussions from this uh, in terms of production. You mentioned yeah. coffee prices uh, soaring on the back of this. Have they peaked, do you think, or is there worse to come? It's, it's an excellent question. I mean, so far we're still digesting the news of the frost that occurred in the growing regions uh, this morning. And it takes time. Uh, you know, Marix and our team over here, we've had guys on the ground for two weeks now out on the plantations and flying above it trying to assess the damage. And, you know, we've had another one last night. We're going to have to assess it again. Um, it, needless to say, the balance sheet as it is, is already tight. We don't have room to strip off another million, two million bags from the current balance sheet. Um, so for that, I, I can only assume that prices should remain elevated for some time to come until we are able to produce enough coffee again or until prices move to such an extreme that demand is, is curtailed. And we are in neither of those positions right now. So what does this mean for coffee buyers and coffee drinkers? Are we going to see the price of our cup of coffee go up? Well, um, we, we've actually seen already there's been a step up in retail shelf prices this year already. Um, and that was predominantly on the back of uh, more of a global situation as well as what we have seen in terms of, uh, you know, consumers coming back to the shops um, uh, in terms of, uh, this whole commodity on cycle, the inflation fear, that has already played a certain part in uh, driving coffee prices up slightly. Uh, and the, those, those shelf prices have already had to react. But the, my idea would be that given current prices, there would probably be another step higher in retail prices to come. 